when I was first told that I had cancer, I was, I was shocked. Uh, I, I didn't think it could happen to me. I was diagnosed with mesothelioma in 1994, searched for some place that was doing something to combat the disease, and I wound up at the University of Penn in 1995. I got in contact with Penn Medicine through Penn Medicine at Radnor, and I was in their executive health program starting in about 2000, and during the course of those examinations, uh, they found a spot on my lung. Since the opening of the Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine, we've uh, made some significant strides in how we deliver care to our lung cancer and mesothelioma patients. It's very, uh, it's just been a tremendous uh, opportunity to work at the Penn Lung Center and work collaboratively, um, um, you know, with our thoracic surgeons and our medical oncologists. We've developed a very integrative, multidisciplinary approach to seeing our patients and uh, reviewing their cases so that all physicians at the Cancer Center have an input into the best opportunity for care for our patients and the best opportunity for a long-term cure. Everything at the Abramson Cancer Center is about teamwork, about multidisciplinary care. We've seen that multidisciplinary approaches to cancer care is where the cure rates improve and where patients get better care. We have a weekly conference where we actually sit down um, and specifically review a full patient records and then come up with a treatment plan that's really a combination of opinions from the radiation therapist, the medical oncologist, the surgeons, the pathologist, and the radiologist. And we have the ability as a group to sit down, uh, review the entire medical record, review all the imaging studies, review all the pathology reports, and then as a group formulate an opinion. And that's a very comforting thing in a very in a period of high anxiety because uh, within a, a very short period of time you get several opinions and, and really a well thought out, well laid out plan uh, to move forward with your treatment. We've made tremendous strides across the board in lung cancer care. We um, have the opportunity now for potentially for early detection with CT screening and potentially with blood tests that are coming down the road. Uh, we certainly made some major advances in the surgical care of our lung cancer patients, getting them um, operated on and cured and out of the hospital earlier with less complications and, and longer term survival. Translational research is taking discoveries that have been made by others and by ourselves in the laboratory, mostly on cell cultures and tumor cells, and then trying to convert that into potential therapies that would be used in patients. One of the areas that's developed over the years is the use of antibodies. And in fact, we're going to be testing a brand new antibody um, in patients with mesothelioma in the next couple of months. The other big area of change is trying to make the treatments that we have now work better. At the Abramson Cancer Center, we are committed to always improving on our treatments for these patients, and we do this through clinical trials. Our trials at the moment focus on individualizing our treatment approach based on molecular characteristics of patients' tumors, so we can find the best individualized approach for a patient's particular cancer. So increasingly now, instead of just resecting a tumor, taking it out surgically, we are sending it off to the lab, looking at specific biomarkers, at other uh, uh, molecular fingerprints that can help us identify the optimal way to treat these patients after they've had surgery or in the uh, unfortunate circumstance if their tumor comes back. We're pioneering an approach that allows us to use photodynamic therapy to clean up residual disease left behind by surgery. This will allow us to take just the cancer, in the case of mesothelioma, without having to take the entire lung. So it's an organ preservation approach where we get control of the cancer, but you get to keep your lung. My disease was stable for a while, and then it started to grow again, and the physician suggested I try something different. He introduced me to another program that was going on at UPenn, which required surgery plus the photodynamic treatment. They didn't have to remove my lung. They just took the lining of my lung out, and they did the photodynamic treatment, and I was good for about five years uh, without any reoccurrence. My pulmonologist, who was at, at Penn Medicine at Radnor, uh, really carried me through this whole situation. It's a privilege every day to be with people who are going through such a tremendous amount and are showing such a brave heroic spirit. Grateful to be here, but uh, I attribute the fact that I got to the right doctors, I got to the right place for the right treatments. It's been an overwhelming great experience for me.